Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida. An expressionist art studio gallery in the backyard. And I have some leftover colors and I want to use them up. And I also have another cream pitcher and I think I'm going to use it as well as that one and put my land colors in the bottom. And mostly dirty pour. I would like things to come out of my bottles just it's not, <laughs> it's not impossible that this can work, but this is the kind of day where everything seems to want to just go a little backwards. Could be, I guess, Mercury's retrograde, but I don't know. Somebody will tell me. If it can plug up, it does. So that's Prussian blue. And it's actually open again. And this is a metallic purple. Oh, that since I'm adding it with some force will agitate the other paint in there and maybe sell up. But I kind of would have preferred to have some less agitated areas so that it will agitate a lot less. Oh, come on. I just bent my thumbnail back. Ow. Like I said, it's been one of those days where everything is plugging up and moving backwards and the wind is blowing gale force stuff from the neighbor's yard into mine. So, I really, after all that and still, got it. Don't ask me what I did just then. Something I've never done before. <laughs> So my paint is mostly out of the way. That's plugged up, so I'm not going to worry about it. That's okay. So I think what I'm going to have to do, first of all, I should tell you this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas, and I use my OXO omelet turning spatula. Cleaner than that. And less than 40 minutes ago, I put a thin layer of black paint on there, and it dried. And it's perfect for doing what I want to do right now, I think. So I'm going to give myself my landscape colors. Whatever they be, I'll let those drain down a little bit. Send them over and up and over again. Looks like it's going to have to be... I don't know what it's going to have to be yet. We'll see. I'm going to let all of that go down. See how I like my colors. I see that large lump of something. I'm going to rock my canvas slightly. Throw my paint back in there. I can scrape my paint off with my edge catcher. Add it right back in. And I like doing that. I do want to know where that lump was I just saw. There it is. And at this stage I can still afford to pull it out with my fingernails. Now I can also... Spread paint and unearth colors by blowing into it. And I could put chain in it and I could put a basting brush. I think I want to put the basting brush in there just because I can. Because then I'm going to tip it down again. All the way across. I'm going to try and Get that to go all the way down again this time. I'm going to rock the canvas, throw it back up, and over. Trying not to add any, any land colors to my sky on the edge, but we'll see how that goes. Depending on how I feel about this, <laughs> yeah, I'm wrestling with the canvas. I may, uh, I may make other decisions. Yes, that's the answer. Other decisions. And my edge catcher is not actually in the painting, but it's not cooperating fully either. I got some cool stuff there, and anything that I pull off my edge catcher can definitely 
go into the composition. If I move my basing brush out of the way, I'm going to take all of this, put it right there. And I'll, whoops, that's not what I expected to find there. Oh well, gone now. Let's hope that I can still wipe that off because I don't know where it came from. It probably came off me. My plan was to put the paint from the other cup in here. And I think I may still do that. I want to explore my possibilities with running the uh, spatula through and swiping some of this. Because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. Underneath show more, underneath the video. Hey, you guys, if you share my videos, you might actually help save me from leaving YouTube. So, um, there's some pretty bad days here recently. I don't think people are getting their notifications. They turn my husband's off every other day for two days. And, uh, it's nice. He, he likes to get them on his computer so it's easier for him to share. And I don't appreciate them being cut off. And it's not anything he's doing, so... Pardon me for being irritated with YouTube. YouTube, thank you very much for giving me a nice free venue. Please do what you say you're going to do and stop messing with me. Please. Please, please, please. I love you guys. <laughs> I'm here for you. Certainly not for them. Now, if I put a line of gold across the top of that, then I could also put a moon in there. But I think what I want to do before that is a couple are a couple of things. And one is to go ahead torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint to maybe firm up the surface of the paint a little bit so if I add something across the sky I can get away with it and I'm not sure I can because I really want I want paint to come out of bottles <laughs> oh I do I do I gotta find that skinny skewer that goes all the way through. I probably need to scrape all of my paint is what's really happening. And I'm going to throw some other color in there. That was that was a pink that used to be from Art Mines. And I am just gonna do something completely Rauches. It's the kind of day I couldn't have possibly done that without dripping on the <laughs> on the canvas too. I'm putting that spatula into the bucket. Oh well. I don't know what I'm going to get because I've never done it before. And if I don't like it, there's always tomorrow for changes. So this could be a part one pretty easily. Not sure what I'm doing, but it's probably like I said, part one. I caught that before I blew on it and put paint in my mouth. Yay! 
Things are improving. particular desire to make anything realistic right now. Which is convenient because it's not working out that way anyway. So just figure I'm playing. No idea what I'm doing. Probably did not even need to uh, use black on this canvas. That's okay because it's going to work. Wow, I can't believe how fast those are clogging up today. Unbelievable. had a container I was scraping my stuff off into. There we go. Since I'm not a huge fan of what's going on down here, I'm going to do it down there too. Very inclined to put some red in there. I think I will. Question is, is it going to be magenta? Yes, it is. Wasn't even a question. I want regular red in there too now. And maybe something else like this Masterminds that isn't open. Okay, just work with what you got for now. Dripping off my paint. Nope, not my best day. Still not giving up. <laughs> we want this open, so sorry to make you wait. to be open. Well, I'm kind of liking some of that. I 
And no matter how unrealistic it is, I'm still having fun. No matter what kind of day it's been, I'm still having fun. This is definitely art therapy for me today. I think I want a little bit. Come on out. Out you come. Stop torturing me. Yeah, a little bit of that is okay with me. I kind of want some Prussian blue in there lower, but I don't think I have to have it. I just think I want it. Just going to use the spatula to stripe across. Glad I didn't waste too much time worrying about the canvas. I want some real orange. Okay, I used up my time. I got two minutes left to hope paint comes out of the bottle and to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you which is if you shop my Amazon link you help me out if you watch the videos longer you help me out I really want your thumbs up would you please please can I have it can I have your thumbs up and uh, I love you guys there's 85,000 of you if you happen to be interested in joining other people who are in my Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation that's the place for students Expressionist Art Studio Gallery for fans and collectors is the place for fans and collectors. Expressionist Art Studio is the place for, oh, totes and more, is the place if you want to see what I've been doing since 2013 on, um, on pixels.com or Fine Art America. You can see stuff I've made and uh, art I've posted, a lot of my older stuff. So this, there's a lot, a lot of things I actually really like about this. More than I thought I was going to, which I'm kind of relieved about, actually. And I'm having fun playing. I don't know if it's a moonrise or a sunset or what it is, but it's still kind of fun. Look at that mark there I don't like. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying thanks for joining me. If you want to join me again, there's, I almost always post a video every day and I announce them on the Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group page and also on my community page that you can find by going to my channel and looking on that, uh, me that menu bar up there where the playlists are created. If you go to Create a play Playlist, you will also find that I have um, playlists by genre and nine playlists of 100 each what else I have Pinterest Instagram and Twitter links underneath the video along with under show more the Amazon link that'll take you to the OXO omelet turning spatula and the Princeton art tool catalyst spatulas and uh, my brand new volume 2 book is called um, unlimited possibilities and I love you guys I want some turquoise in that sky why do I want turquoise in that sky um, I don't know but I don't feel like denying myself anything maybe just because it's gonna be beautiful there so I should show you guys really quick before you go on that this is interesting more interesting than I thought it was gonna be and yeah I primed the whole canvas so I could have a little black strip at the top but oh well never mind and it looks like it's a frameable thing, and I love you guys. There's almost 85,000. Thank you for the contributions. Look for the drawing prizes on the end screen video of 70 exhibition artworks that are 18 by 24s. If you want to donate $10 to help support the studio, thank you to everybody who has. Love you guys. Bye now. See you anon. Priscilla out.